Are you recording? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. My name is Shanti and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a special day. I get to interview Leandra Ellis Gaston. She is a swing and dance captain yes. for the, let me get this, uh, Carol King the Musical. Beautiful. Beautiful. Carol the Carol King Musical. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So I saw the show last night and I'm working with um, Broadway across Canada and I get to go backstage and meet some incredible people that are super talented and like I said I saw the show last night and now I get to interview Leandra and we're gonna figure out um, what is exactly a swing and a dance captain what does it take to do this and we're just gonna talk about the show itself and kind of like what we both learned from the show. So let's jump right in. Leandra, thank you so much for doing this. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I just wanted to get to know, like, how long have you been in the business of show business? I've been doing all of this since I was, when I was 12. I started when I was 12, when I was really young. Okay. And then just doing professional theater, regional theaters, and, you know, getting, you know, getting higher ranking of jobs. I don't want to say ranking, but, um, more professional jobs the older I got. And okay. so by the time I was, when I was 21, I booked my first national tour. Okay. Or international tour. So you're young. I don't want to. I am now. I am you're young. You're young. Okay. I don't want to, I don't know. It's, is it like rude to ask No, I just turned 25 last okay. week. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on the younger so age. So half, almost more than half your life you've been doing yes. this. You've been on the road. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Your role in Beautiful is swing and dance captain mm -hmm. and I just learned what a swing was today and I was like fascinated so can you talk a little bit about both of those roles and how they either help each other or hinder talk to me a little bit about about this whole world of, of being sort of on stage and kind of back no yeah definitely so as a swing I cover all the ensemble women in the show which is six of them um, so that means you need to know their songs, their dance moves, yep. everything, because you just jump right in when those uh, their understudies that will like replace. Is that yeah. what happens? It's well, like normally, a so if they're sick, let's say they just woke up them or they had a cough, they're sick. We get the call, and sometimes it can be an hour before, sometimes it can be early in the morning. It all it's all dependent, um, and we have to do their whole track, which means we know their blocking, their songs, their dance moves their costume changes, their wig changes. So it's crazy because it's not only the choreography and like the things they do on stage, it's so much also about what they do backstage as well. Right, so basically you could potentially do a one-man show and literally fill the whole oh, Broadway show yes. by yourself and Hopefully, do all the roles. It's crazy, like that would never happen, but we have had a situation and it's, this came like out of the blue where we were really down in the numbers, and so normally we do a four-year-old show, but we had only three. So I had to do two tracks, and the other female swing, she had to split tracks as well. Oh my god. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's really confusing. So I would imagine you'd have to be very organized as an yes. individual. Uh, what other, like, talent, or, like, traits, characteristics that um, you need to... I find that all our swings, just like in sitting with them all day, all of them are very determined people. And like they just don't stop at knowing their song or their dance moves. They're like overachievers. They wanna they don't want anybody else to feel different on stage. Like there's a piece missing when there's a new person in. So I would say all like an overachiever is really something that I notice a lot in the other swings. Um like I heard like I read about like they're basically a chameleon. Like yes, they you are should chameleons. be able to just like drop you them in any situation. Anything. Yeah. You can do so cool. Anything. And obviously multi talented. Yes. Dancing, singing, uh just acting in general. No yeah. It's so fascinating. Like I can't believe I I just learned about this and it's I feel like you guys should be at the like the top of the list. I like, know so it's awesome. so crazy. You just so many things. I mean, also too, you have to be extremely courageous because at any moment, you know, it's just right. like you drop of a hat. Drop of a hat. You You're just on. have to kind of go in there yeah. and do it. So yeah, confidence is definitely a big thing. Organization, determination. Um, and very, very skilled. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, master at all, master of all, and like, it's like, you know what the, the saying is, um, uh, like, you're skilled at everything, but master at none, but in this case, you literally have to be a master at everything. No, yeah, you do, you do. <laughs> That's really awesome. Um, so, okay, so we were, when we, when I first got in, we were looking at your station, mm -hmm. and you had a couple tips. Do you want to kind of show us what, no, what you yes. were talking about here? So, I... 
I have two big jobs in the show. I'm the dance captain and the swing. So because of that, I kind of have to have a split brain at certain times. And so like I have like things that are like clues to castmates that right now not be the time to talk to me or, you know, I'm totally available for help. So yeah. I have this light here. I turn it on and when I turn it on, that means usually do not bother me at this moment. I'm like, do not disturb. <laughs> do not disturb. I'm like trying to get some work done. And then when I turn it off, that means I'm totally available to anything. Does that work for five year old kids? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might work for children to be like, you know, oh my gosh, my light's on, my light's on. I need a light. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. No, but like I have that there and then I have like other little tidbits, a little bit of nature that's fake, but it helps me. Yeah. feel you know comfortable and homey so maybe we can kind of go into that is how do you because you're traveling a lot mm -hmm. your your home base is is not obviously here so can you talk to us about like i have no idea where do you stay and how long are you gone and kind of what does that road yeah life on the road look like so for us right now it's it's dependent sometimes like we just left dc washington dc mm -hmm. we were there for five weeks but this week we're here for a week the next we're here for two weeks, you know, it all it's always changing the amount of time that you're someplace. And so for me, I have to make every place really homey so that I don't get homesick. Yeah, or, that I don't yeah. get homesick or like, you know, I, I need or you to, have a sense of belonging. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I need to feel very homey. And also because I'm the swing and a dance captain, I do a lot of sitting. OK. In my station, I don't spend a lot of time on the stage or up doing the show. Right. So during showtime, I spend a lot of time back here. So because I'm sitting all day, I have to make it very, very homey. So I have to put, you know, my carpet, yeah, my pillows. And like also in my hotels and Airbnbs, I make it really homey as well. I carry a lot of candles. Okay. With me, even though there's not a lot of hotels, but you know, sometimes you have to, it's okay. you know, make it's things right. work. <laughs> so I carry candles and I have my blanket that I take everywhere. Okay. You know, yeah, I was gonna say me. like, what are your must like? What are your must haves like? Whether it's like beauty products or like those cozy comfort things. So you're saying like candles, your blanket. Yeah, candles, blanket, pillows. Um, when it comes to beauty, like I have to have a beauty blender. Okay. Like, is it the beauty blender? The beauty blender. Okay. Like, like the do you moisten it first. Yes. Or? Okay. With what? Spray, 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 spray. I have my MAC finishing spray. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, I have my MAC finishing spray. <laughs> I have my beauty blender. I go into town. Um, I'm trying to think. I have to have my Becca underneath my face, my primer. Every, you if, use Becca primer? Yes, okay. I do. It's up here. It's like... And then is this Fenty? What is... No, Maybelline. No, so the, I use Becca. Okay. And then if I find that I'm on for... Because the weather changes so many times, it's dependent on the skin right. in that city. Do you find Ottawa's dry? Yes, slightly dry. The water is probably really but, drying. No, no, but the water is so refreshing. Oh my gosh, okay, so we read this thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We read this thing that Ottawa has the best tap water. It really does. I love the water here. So, we've all, like, usually we're, like, really picky. We're like, you guys don't do the tap. You know, we're saying Evian water only. <laughs> yeah, you're like, Evian, like, don't do this. Or, like, they have the coolers. I've been tearing up the tap water. Okay, that's amazing. And, guys, I'm, Ottawa people, be blessed that you have good water. Oh, I mean... I, Amazing. Yeah. I, I actually, I'm from Toronto and okay. I find the water like very chlorinated. So when I, when I came to Ottawa, I was like, yes, this is fresh water. And uh, Quebec City also has like really good water too. Oh my gosh. It's Quebec City, like Montreal? No, it's about three hours north. Of Montreal? Yeah. Of, here. of Montreal. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I'm trying to get Canada <laughs> Canada down. has good water. <laughs> no, they, like they have great water. It's so crazy because I had water bottles places, so I'm never dehydrated. Right. So it's like one up there, one over here, one on the stage. And it's all filled with Ottawa tap water. Okay. Ottawa tap water, new business idea. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, yeah. So you're obviously traveling a lot, but do you get to like sightsee a little bit and get to see the cities that you're in? And... Yes. Okay. Of course. It's a, that's the one of the perks of the job. Okay. Is that no matter what city we're in, we get to to see out. Mm -hmm. Um, in Ottawa right now, it's freezing. It's so cold. Especially so... <laughs> today, it's like minus thirty degrees. So because it's so cold. I've only been to the hotel and the mall is connected to the hotel and to this theater. But I'm really excited because I want to go ice skating on yes. the canal, yeah. which sounds amazing. Um, just take one photo and then go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get that Instagram pic yeah. and be out of there. Put on my story and I'm good to go. I've seen Ottawa. No. Um, but in certain cities, we do. It, it depends on like what our rehearsal schedule is because we do rehearse during the daytime sometimes and then show at night. Right. Um, but like we've been to some great cities like Minneapolis, Costa Mesa, LA, Washington DC. And like in DC we got to go to the museums through the daytime. So you get all this history. Amazing. And then you do the show at night. Yeah. You know? 
how long is the entire show lasting? Like how many months? Like you're because you're traveling from here to there, like a couple of weeks. But like yeah. in total, what does that look like? Like a year or yeah, basically a year. Oh my god, basically traveling a year. for a year. And do you are you a light packer? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like I am not a light packer. I am a bit of a fashionista in ways and a bit of like beauty and all those maximalist. things. Maximalist. Yes. Yeah. You know? So I'm not a minimalist, yeah, a maximalist. Yeah, maximalist. <laughs> but I'm learning I'm really finding ways to like travel. Right. Or like how to recycle things, like this turtleneck with something else on top of it. Or you know, yeah. just like always learning how to keep it fresh. Just because on tour you kind of do the same thing every day. You do the same show every day. And so I like want to spice it up with my clothes or a new makeup look, you know? Yeah. And you have, yeah, you have to be like smart with your space and yes. like, like I, I call them like workhorse kind of pieces of clothing that you can wear different ways no, and yeah, definitely. be creative. And you're also like, you probably need like your comfortable clothes and then your going out clothes yes. and then your whatever on stage clothes or whatever yes. that looks like. It's like so. rehearsal clothes, gym clothes, you know, professional clothes, Okay, travel. so let's actually, speaking of gym clothes, let's talk about the dance portion because you're the okay. dance captain. I am so the dance captain. What does that look like? So the dance captain's job is to maintain the choreography throughout the whole show. Um, and so I know everybody's choreography in the show, including the boys. So, like, I swing only the girls in the show, but I know when the boys enter, what dance move they do, what they sing, how they sing it. Like, I know that in specifics. And so my job is just to maintain that, to make sure that it always looks good, it always looks top-notch. Okay, and are you, you're very picky as a person? Yes, okay. I'm very much a perfectionist. And is there, like, tension? Are we allowed to go there? <laughs> yes! <laughs> really crazy so I'm a newer member to the company so I just joined the company in August okay and the tour has been going for we're going on year five this is year four. Oh my god that's insane incredible. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's amazing <laughs> and obviously people love the story I mean right. it's packed it's houses so yeah it's like amazing so I'm a newer member and I thought when I first got here it'd be so much tension like this new girl is gonna be our boss in ways or like yeah. tell us these and things. you're probably younger I'm yeah one yeah. of the youngest females <laughs> yeah so I like I think officially as of like next week I'll be the youngest female okay so tour. you're like the Carol King where she was very young <laughs> when she started her career but, yeah it's kind of like but you're pretty strong well yes. so you made it happen you made it happen <laughs> and so when I got here I thought it'd be tension but it wasn't everybody was like really open but I find that sometimes like if things have because things evolve and things change over time there can be tensions for people who've been here longer right yeah, there could be little tensions like we never did that we didn't do that and it's just like but they accept that we are now in a new place yeah a new team a new team of people so yeah. like we have to do that yeah we did a, i've done a lot of like teamwork in my professional life and um something interesting that was said was that every time one new person gets added to a team mm -hmm. it's a whole new team yep. so you i'm sure you guys experience that and there's probably people coming in and out all the oh, time yes, and placements it's always trying to find a new groove and I think that's why the choreography evolves because um, like this week we have two new replacements okay so they have to learn and the, the old people have to learn with the new people yep. okay well on you know as an audience member it was very seamless yesterday I was really impressed the I show know. was uh, so good and you saw a show full of understudies oh really mm-hmm well, didn't look like that to me. I know, but that's like amazing. Like, bro, it's not supposed yeah, it so it's to. It's not supposed yeah. to. I was like crying, laughing, singing, <laughs> dancing. Like I had I my it. own Broadway show just in the I audience. know. <laughs> you saw a show full of amazing, amazing understudies last night. Okay, so I, let's talk a little bit more about uh, Beautiful, the Carol King musical. I said yes. it. Um, you know, what I learned from, from her is that, you know, she was really young, she was fierce, she had so much creativity, so many ideas. She seemed like such a kind person too, mm -hmm. but was really able to, you know, create a name for herself. And also in a way that um, it wasn't always about her. You no. know, like she's creating all these amazing songs that mm -hmm. other people are singing. I feel like that's that's hard to do that, to do it in the in the like, behind the scenes and then towards the end she's like okay I'm ready like for it to be about me um are there anything like is there anything that you as a as a person have like learned from her story and or like some parallels that you know I'm almost thinking it's very much like the swing yeah in ways you know it's kind of funny being a swing is extremely hard because you're not doing the show every day so every time you go on to do the show 
you kind of have to test yourself. Am I good enough to do this today? Because you don't do it every day. Yeah. So in the, in those kind of ways, I, I, I can relate to Carol. And like, I don't know if this song is good enough. Or, you know, like Jerry comes in so many times and he's just like, I don't know if this song is a hit. I don't, I don't we don't know. Right. You know we yeah. don't know. And so it's like. And then I'm the audience. And I'm like, that was amazing. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know. But like sometimes I go on and I'm just like. It, it, am I doing it right? Is this reading? Is the audience enjoying it since I don't normally do it? So it's those battles in ways. Right. Yeah, those confident struggles. But, you know, usually by the time you finish your song or usually by the time I step on the stage and the lights hit and the music plays and I'm in the groove, it's like, oh, no, this is... I've been doing you're this my whole life. Place. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Is my you're in the right place. Yeah. yeah. It's totally. That's really when you know, like, that you're doing what you love and what you should be doing. And yeah. That's how I, she must have felt that way when she heard her songs. Yeah. On a record, she must have felt like, okay, I'm good enough. Yeah. Yeah. That's a validation. I think we all need that feedback. Yeah. Yeah. When we see it. Yeah. Very, very cool. Well, I, f I feel like that's a wrap. Thank you so much. That was so great. It's so great to know you as a person, but also just learn a little bit more about, about you know, being on Broadway and um, just all the different kinds of, like, skills that it takes to to really, like, nail it, nail the show. No, yeah. So, very nice to meet it's you, It's so nice Linda. to meet you. This is <laughs> Good amazing. Good luck with everything. Oh, break a leg, right? <laughs> yes, it is break a leg. It is break a leg. Bad luck, bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thank well, you. have a good time in Ottawa, and if you need anything... Just holler at me. I will. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Bye. So nice to meet you.